How's it going guys? This is Saint. Right now I'm going to be doing a Twixter tutorial in Adobe After Effects CS 5.5. Um, right here is my background I made. I made it by compositing in Cinema 4D and Adobe After Effects. But if you want a tutorial on that, I can very well easily make one for you after this one. All you need to do is request in the comments um, or show me by liking the video. So obviously we're going to be using the effect called uh, Twixter Pro. You get a Vision plugin. So I'm sorry, let me roll down here. Twixter Pro, or you could do Twixter. I believe they both work the same way. Twixter Pro is what I use, though. Um, you can download this plugin. Just search how to get Twixter for free or something. But um, you know that's definitely not what I did. So import your clip and. Um, Obviously, you guys are going to want to see what you're, um, what you're going to be making, so I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Turn it off, just turn it off. Okay, and we are back, so that is what you will be making. I don't even know what it's going to be, I don't even know what clip it's going to be, so we will see let's go into saint preaches episodes so oh, oh, oh wait let's go back real quick hmm hmm whoa sp4 you, you know what that is okay let's go see uh let's do which clip you mean my email we'll do Showdown. Huh? Bog? Alright, we're doing Bog. So, this is a map. This is a uh, clip off of Call of Duty 4 that I, um, and guys, if you don't like dragging it out there, you can just drag it right here and it'll make a new composition for you. So, that's the new composition button. So, if you want a new comp, click that button. But we don't need a new composition. Alright, so first of all, let's just crop this, make it look nice, fit up to 100, and let's go right here, you gotta go to layer, frame blending, pixel motion, you gotta make sure you turn that on, and you gotta turn this on right here, this en enables frame blending for all layers with the frame blend switch set, so obviously you have to turn this on and then turn this on, go ahead and click that and you can just leave that uh, right there for right now that's good another thing you can do is go to time enable time remapping and you can just bring that back up which allows uh, this to go longer but what we want to do is we want to go to our composition settings you can go up here and you can go to composition settings or you can click right here and go to composition settings now the duration is uh, 2 minutes 48 seconds so we're gonna make that well hold on a minute I'm sorry so you wanna find your clip first of all so this is a, a full file um, I believe it is towards the end I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of searching right quick let me see come on don't be aggravating another thing is this it? fast previews I think that's it. Don't aggravate me. Okay, there we go. It's right over here. Okay, I die and then I spawn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go edit split layer, or you could do Control Shift D. So let's go ahead and do the uh, Control Shift D. I'm sorry, I do not know what just happened. Oh god, what the hell is this? Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. By the way, guys, Control Z is undo. What is going on with this thing? I do not like this. Escape. Thank you. Okay, don't know what happened there, so let's just go ahead and do split layer. And you can just delete that entire first part. Drag this to the start of your timeline. Alright. And there you go, there's the start of your clip. Let's scroll through a little bit. 
scroll through and I believe it was right there yeah and that should be good so let's do edit split layer and delete that part now what you want to do you obviously don't want to have to work within this little space so you just drag this all the way up here because you're going to need some time to move this which I'll show you so don't freak out um, so let's go right here let's start off with putting a color correction on and guys you probably want to work in half or third depending on how good your computer is um, I'm just going to do full since this is going to be one little frame another thing you can do is click on this and uh, this is fast preview so you can go to OpenGL Interactive or uh, always on whatever you feel like putting on or you can just do off. Let's see, wireframe. There, see. That's not the wireframe you're thinking of. So, there you go. But if you want, like, the great quality, your computer's like sex, you turn that off and you got really good quality, but really not much of a change unless you're actually scrolling through. So, let's go to effect. Sorry, you gotta have your layer selected. Okay, let's go to effect. And let's put on, let's just put on a magic bullet looks. Uh, you could put on, you don't even have to put a color correction on there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do magic bullet looks just to make it look nice and sexy. Should not take too long. And if it doesn't respond, I'm going to be really angry. All right, let's see. Let's go to looks. Um, what should we do? Let's go to uh, music videos now. Special effects. Hmm? No, I don't like that. Swing tilt film. No, I don't like that either. Um, let's see. I already went to that. Popular TV. No. Jealous Indigo. No. You know what? Why not? Let's just do one because I don't want to take too much time in this. Alright, that's, you don't even need to do with that. Another thing you can do is uh, do new layer and do an adjustment layer. And you can put your color correction on that so it'll be on every clip and not just this one clip. But, that's okay. So, big part here, go to effect and go to Twixter Pro. Put that on your clip. And what you're going to want to make sure of is the frames per second that your clip was recorded at. This is 59.94, aka 60 frames per second. And all Call of Duty games are um, played in 60 frames per second, unless you are running on a non HD TV. So put the Twixter Pro on 59.94. And I did make another Twixter tutorial, but what I did not show you is going down here. You go to the FG1 settings and well bring it down to 50 or 55 Th what this does it reduces the warping by a ton so just hit 50 go to FG3 hit 50 sorry 50 50 there we go so you got your 50 right there and then all you have to do with this bring that up okay and then we're done no I'm kidding you go down here Go to Effects, Twixter Pro, Output Control. Okay, so that what we did there, we dropped it a little down, dropped the little thing down on the on the uh, layer. Went to Effects, Twixter Pro, Output Control, and the only thing we're going to be really screwing with right here is speed. So let's get to the part where we want to start our Twixter. And so that normally wants to be right at the beginning of your, <coughs> excuse me, right, it's early in the morning, I just woke up. Right at the beginning of your shot, did I already shoot? Let's see, you can move frame by frame by doing this right here. I'm going to take it out of best. Put it in half. So, 
normally in a Call of Duty game you'll be able to see like your flare so you can just go frame by frame there we go okay now let's set let's hit the little stopwatch which drops in the keyframe at the speed at a hundred let's move forward a few frames because you don't want to just do a hundred and then move one frame and then bring it down to three seconds where it's like barely moving because if you do that it's gonna look really abrupt sometimes like in this case it may be good but you know so we want to bring it forward and the more you bring it forward so say I set this to 3 right now it's probably gonna set it back before you see that 10 so let's go ahead and put the speed on 3 and there you go so if we scroll through right here you're gonna see and then it gets really really slow and you don't want to do it where there's a lot of movement you gotta find just the right spot to start your twixter at but as you can see, there's really not that much warping. This probably wasn't that good of a clip to uh, do it on, but that's all right. And what you can also do is you can move this. Then that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's see. So it'll just be slowing down from right here. I'm sorry. Another the thing you have to do drag twixter right above looks so your color correction will be on there now that I look at it that color correction is pretty raunchy but that's alright so it's going to be dragging right there and then as you can see it looks pretty nice right here you're going to make you're going to probably want to make sure your clip is disabled resampled in after effects uh... due to time shortage I, I didn't do that so all you do i mean i'm sorry in uh... vegas go to vegas disable resample i do not currently know how to do it in after effects if you know how drop me a comment send me a message add me on skype xbox live whatever okay so that's pretty pretty good point that you have your twixter at drop in another keyframe Okay, you do that by hitting that little button, and let's scroll forward a few frames. Doesn't really matter how many frames you do this, and let's bring it back up to 100. And there you go, it's working in 100 again. Going at 100 speed. I voice cracked again. Now it may have a little bit of warping, so you could do split the clip that you want uh, twixter and then just add in after that the regular clip so that is your twixter excuse me I was yawning that is how to do twixter um, it works a lot better if you are say um, doing like a scope out or something or just a cinematic it works a lot better with those because you won't see as much warping as you can see right here there's a lot of warping but um, with the time remapping as long as you allow yourself enough time to uh, put the twixter in because what happens is say the normal no scope is right here well it ends right here it's gonna end right back here because we slowed that speed down and it took out this entire space on your timeline so what you can do is just look at that and you drag this out as far as you want and then eventually you'll see a, uh, a red bar or just black so we still have on our clip so it went all the way down here but since our clip was a lot longer we can just make it as long as we want so um, thank you for watching hopefully this helped if you have any questions at all, just do not be afraid to message me, uh, comment, anything you want to do. I have another Twixter tutorial. If you feel comfortable using that one better, go for it. Um, I'm all for it. So this has been going on for a while. Hopefully um, you sat through it. And thank you guys. I will see you later. Peace.